Shalom. This is Yah is Magnified, and I'm back with another informative video. Today's video is titled Order Terminated Part 2 Testimony. But before I tackle this subject, as always, I must state for the record I'm not a lawyer, I do not practice law, and I do not pretend to. All my videos are for informational and educational purposes only. They're all facts and all truth. Nothing more, nothing less. So, with that being said, guys, let's get to it. Okay, so now, for all those who have not watched part one, I have put the link in the description box and also in the comments section so you all can pause this video, watch part one, then come back and watch part two, okay? But for all those who did watch part one, then you all know that I told you guys that my ox said he wanted to do something different and he said he wanted to do his own testimony by himself. He's going to post it on his channel and he's going to also email it to me so I can post it on my channel as well. And that is exactly what he have done. So... As I tell you guys, you know, all glory and honor to the Most High Yah, because without Him, none of this will be possible, okay? So now, as you all can see on the screen, this is in fact the order. I just want to go over the order one more time, just to give you all a recap of what had happened in his case. Okay, so now, it states what? In the Court of Common Pleas of Chester County, Pennsylvania, Domestic Relations Section, right? Then it states what? Rucker, who was the plaintiff, versus Rucker, who was the defendant, okay? Uh, docket number I crossed out, case number and everything else I crossed out. Then it states order. Uh, and now to wit, September 1st, 2022, it is hereby ordered that the order dated September the 22nd, 2021 for the support of two children, blank uh, record date of birth and blank record date of birth to be paid at the rate of 526 uh, per month uh, for current support and $99 per month for spousal support and $125 per month towards the arrears is terminated. Arrears are to be forgiven. Court calls, fees, and the amount of $40.25 are due immediately. The plaintiff letter is attached. Then it states what? Effective date, 8-29-2022. Signed by the judge with the... Uh, with the um the foul stamp and everything else on it, guys. So without further ado, let's bring my arc on for you to give his testimony. Greetings. This is screen name Brother Man Trucking. This is going to be a testimony video about getting remedy from child support. Now, first, I want to say all praises and honor to the Most High Yah. Uh, he has showed favor for not one but two of his servants. Um, when it comes to this, because he used the other servant to help the uh, one servant to get remedy. Um, so I've been dealing with this particular situation for, it's probably been over, it's been over two years. Um, there was a lot of prayer, a lot of, uh, when I say prayer, petitioning, uh, sending back curses on the spiritual, on the spiritual side and um, dealing with these folks on the natural side. So all these folks, they're dem demonically charged. That, so that's when I say, you know, on the spiritual side. So you got to know how to um, hold your ground and then go on the offense too. So spiritually speaking. So I've been dealing with this child support for, at the time, for it's been over two years. Um, they would send letters in the mail, not to my personal quote unquote address, but to the UPS box that I have, um, which has a street location. So they couldn't physically serve me because they didn't know exactly know where to find me. They had an idea, but they didn't know where to find me. So, you know, they would send letters in the mail, you know, you've been, uh, whatever the initial letter is, you know, um, you have a court date or something or hearing or on the phone or whatever. So, I'm not going to get to into every single detail, um, but there was times where, you know, I would go to pick up my mail and the guy from the state, I mean, uh, the guy at the, at the, uh, the counter at the, the UPS store, he would come up and say, Hey, the guy from the state was here looking for you. I was like, Oh, okay. But it's just a box. So I'm not physically there. So then they was put like little letters in the in the little letters and notes in the uh, not letters, but put little notes in there. Hey, call this number. You know, we, we have something that we have to uh, that I would like to discuss with you, man. Get out of here. So this went on for a while. So and then in the meantime, they were sending me letters and I would send them back, um, you know, with the information that I had. I would just send them back. 
I would, you know, put on there, no contract, return the sender, and I would send it back. Uh, send it back. I would, you know, put in a different envelope, send it back, certified or something like that. So, and all that was doing was just, it was buying me time, but it was also making the matters worse, if that makes sense. So, and this is just the information that I had, because there's plenty of information out there. It's just that, how do you put it all together so it can work for your benefit and rock them back on their heels? Like, uh, maybe we don't, we, maybe we don't want to mess with this guy. So some time is going on. I'm doing this and, you know, they're threatening me. Okay. We're going to ding your credit. Um, then I did, ha I did go into court a couple of times for the hearing and, you know, they're, um, I was very vague with them. Oh, before I got there, they sent a private investigator out to, uh, one of the locations where I frequent and the private investor came out and, you know, he, I guess I fit the description of, of, uh, that he had of me. So he came over and said, um, you know, I want to set this right here. You've been served, you know, you got a court date, blah, blah, blah. So open it up. It was a court date. If I didn't show up for court, you know, they would do all the, the wicked things that, you know, that's listed in the letter or whatever contempt of court, worn out, and all that kind of stuff. So it's probably in my best interest to go to court. So I went to court, um, and they were trying to get, extract information from me, and I was very vague with them. I didn't have, I don't have any, uh, I don't have a personal bank account, so they couldn't do anything. I have my own business, so they really couldn't do anything with that. So they were operating under presumption, um, and to make a long story short, they said I had to pay, it's like $700, $750 or a month, you know, for the rest of my life, pretty much, you know. Um, so I didn't agree to that, you know. So, and, and I, I still never paid a dime into this. So, and I'm still fighting with these people. They're sending me letters, you know, they're, um, I may miss a couple things here and there, you know, in the video, but they're sending me letters and I'm sending their letters back and, um, in the proper way that I found out. Now, this is hindsight 2020 that you can send the letters back, but you also have to respond to the letters that they send you. So they're threatening, okay, now they're dinging my credit report. Now they're threatening, okay, you can't get um, this, okay, you can't get that, okay, we can put you, put a warrant out for your rest and this and that. So then we're we're going into court we're back and forth. You got to bring all your financials in and, you know, so we can establish this order and this, and I'm, I'm, I'm being very rebellious when it comes to this. Um, so that's going, going on back and forth. So the one letter that changed everything was we're going to suspend your, your license. Now, I use, I have a CDL, so that's going to stop my income if they suspend my license. So now it's like, you know, you're, you're, you know, you're contending now all of a sudden get pow, hit in the face. Like, uh oh, now what am I going to do? And I didn't want to pay, you know, 700 and some dollars, you know, they was like, well, you need to pay this much before, you know, this date, or we're going to suspend your license. So in the meantime, throughout all this, I'm looking at people on YouTube um, that specialize in uh, getting remedy for child support. So I saw the one guy, I was looking at his stuff and I was like, I really don't like how, like the way that he operates. I was like, man, let me check out this guy, this other guy. So I checked out the, the one guy, uh, after I checked out the, the, the first guy, I checked out the second guy and I, I contacted him um, he's all into Egyptology and stuff like that, which I mean, is that what you, if that's what you do, you go right on ahead. Um, so, and I didn't, you can kind of discern, like, I don't know if that makes sense. Like the spirit on the other person. I was like, nah, I don't really, I'm not really connecting with this guy. So, and he wanted $60 for a uh, consultation. I was like, nah, that's all right. Um, so then I'm looking at other videos and I see this other brother, 
Yah is magnified. So I'm looking at his videos and he's getting remedy after remedy after remedy with testimonies, not just the remedy, but he's getting testimonies and he's actually, you know, showing you some of the steps. Um, he don't exactly tell you how to put it together, but he's showing you some of the steps on how to contend with these people. So I'm saying, okay. So mind you, I had a short time. Uh, I think I had a month to come up with some kind of solution to, um, deal with these people, pay the money or, you know, take these people, people to court or, you know, fight in court or whatever. So I contacted Yaz Magnified. I sent him one email. I didn't hear back from him for, I'll just say a couple of days. I remember, don't remember how long it was. Excuse me. So I sent him another email. So he got back to me. He says, uh, how can I help you? So I said, explain my situation. He says, okay. Um, you have to send in the gift and then we can get, I, he said, I can help you. You can send, uh, you have to send in the gift and we can get started. How much is the gift? Let me talk about that. The gift is worth, is, you know, I, I, I'll ask it in a question like this. Is the gift, the, the gift would probably be worth it. No, I don't want to start say it like that. Let's say you have to pay a thousand dollars a month, right? for let's just say your child is 10 till they're 18 so 10 to 18 and they're supposed to take you off child support at age 18 so thousand dollars a month from the age 10 all the way up to 18 you do the math so to me that little gift was worth it Okay, so I contacted Yaz Magnified. You know, I sent him the gift, so I sent him paperwork. He sent me paperwork to um, to file into the case. Um, he sent me, you know, and then then this is where it, you know, where the rubber meets the road. So there's a time that you know I'm in court, and uh, I went to court a couple of different times. You know, Yaz Magnified. Is working me, uh, work not working me. Is walking me through all these steps. He didn't just, you know, um, give me the paperwork and then didn't hear from him. He was like, "Okay, what happened? Did you file this or did you do this or did you do that? What's the status on this? What's the status on that?" So we're going back and forth with the courts. They're sending me letters. I'm sending, responding to the letters, sending them back. At a couple court dates, um, they're. I had to trust, first I had to trust in the most high that he was using Yah's magnified. But then there was times where, you know, I was like this close to being contempt of court to where they were putting, going to put me in jail, right? So I'm just like, he's like, brother, don't worry about it. We got this. Okay. So <clears throat> I'm, you know, filing paperwork and it, it's a process to it. I don't want you, I just don't want people to think that, you know, you're just going to file paperwork and they're just going to, you know, step away. They're, you know, they're going to keep on going. So there was times where I had to go to the courthouse. Um, I will say the one day I think I went there three times after going back and forth to the house and, you know, doing paperwork and going back to the court. It's, it's a, it's a fight worth fighting, but it's a fight. Don't just think they're just going to say, oh, okay, we're just, nah, it ain't going to happen like that. So, Yaz Magnified is helping me through this. Um, he's uh, giving me paperwork to file um, into the case. Um, I don't want to give too much away, you know, trying to, you know, try not to give everything away because that's his business. Um, what can I tell you? We went to, I'll just tell you this part. I'll t well, I'll tell you this part. We went to court, or I went to court, and they said, you have to pay, uh, this is the last time I went to court, you have to pay $2,000 by, I think it was, they gave me like three days to pay $2,000. And in my mind, I'm like, man, well, I, no, nah, I'm not doing this. I, I guess they're just going to put me in jail. And it was, then they give me a, a a hearing for a contempt of court. Uh, it was called rule court. Um, so 
I contacted Yaz Magnify. You know, I sent them an email. I said, hey, man, they, this is what they sent back. Ah, man, don't worry about it. Here, file this. <laughs> All right. I'll, <laughs> I want to trust you. So, file the paperwork. Now, this is where things get interesting. A few days later, the attorney called. Yeah, um, so and so said uh, we're going to terminate your 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 child support case. Uh, you don't have to. Be oh, arrears. I was uh, eleven between eleven and twelve thousand dollars in quote unquote past due arrears. So you know. So when the the attorney on their side called, she they she said, uh, "Yeah, we're going to terminate your your case. Um, you won't have to pay anything." And uh, your arrears will be forgiven, and then that will be it. So I think, okay, well, hallelujah. Praise the Most High, Yah. Thank you, Jesus. So some time went by. So I got my paper. I don't have it in here. It's, it's in another room somewhere. But just trust me. I, child support is done. I'm free. So, you know, all praises to the Most High, Yah. Uh, Yah is magnified. He was there. Um, the, the, the brother definitely knows what he is doing. Um, I recommend him and you're going to get a lot of bit. Uh, Yah is magnified. This is probably going to be posted on his channel because I said I would do a testimony video and I would, um, post it on his, uh, or I would share it with him, give him the video so he can post it on his channel. Um, he's going to, you're going to get a lot of business. Uh, cause I already had people asking me about you, how you got off of, how I got off of child support. Um, so that's that part. Now, this is the part that y'all is magnified did not, that I, I started doing on my own. This is what I started doing. So every attorney that was involved in my case, what I did was I filed a, this is the secret sauce. Now, I don't know if the secret sauce or not, but this, I'm pretty sure this helped. Every attorney that was involved in this particular child support case, I filed a complaint against them or what's called a bar agreement. You know how attorneys are a part of the, the bar, the BA, I don't know what it's, British something or something or other. It's like a attorney club that they're a part of. Well, I filed uh, a complaint against every single one of them. Now, from my understanding and the person that I learned this from, Excuse me. It's what happens is that they have to report it to they have to report that complaint to their insurance company, and now they're liable to be sued, right? So if they're liable to be sued, the insurance is not going to want to carry them anymore. So what you what you what's happening is you're getting this, these outside people looking in at and see what's going on. Okay, you know, um, but. That's another video. I don't want to get into all that, but this is a, just a testimony video for uh, Yah is magnified. Keep doing what you're doing. May the Yah, may uh, Yahweh bless you, the Most High bless you in your works. And um, that's all. Ah!